everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and I just emerged out of the Samsung event with the brand new Galaxy Note 9. So let's unbox it, I want to take a look at it, and I'll tell you all what I think, so the review process starts now. So here we are now in my room, and the audio and picture quality isn't going to be perfect because I'm in a hotel room, so just bear with me. But here is the box. And I'm actually extremely excited about this phone, you guys. I am a big fan of the Note line. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. That's really kind of the phone that started my YouTube channel, at least with reviews. And with this guy, what gets my big geek excitement going is that for the baseline model, we have 128 gigabytes of storage and also a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. My first thought here, you guys, is that we've gotten our Road Warrior Note back. Back in the day, the Note used to be kind of perceived as the Road Warrior type of phone, but then we ended up getting rid of the removable battery, and that really upset a lot of people, but now we have a battery big enough in here that I don't think we're going to be having an issue. Of course, I'm going to test that out, but we came from a 3,300 milliamp hour battery in the Note 8, and I just recently made a video talking about the Note 8 and how the battery has held up over time, and it's been pretty okay but now I think this is something to be excited about. So let's just pull this up. This is just documentation and some ejection tool. And then we've got the phone itself. So we've got a lavender purple. I wanted to say lilac purple because the Galaxy Note 9 has a lilac purple. So that's the color that I have here. And it is actually a bit different than the lilac purple of the Galaxy S9 Plus. And it's got a very similar shimmery effect to it. I feel like the S9 Plus is a little bit even more so shimmery. But just to let you know, it's ever so slightly different in color. And when I was at the press event, I went and looked at all the other colors that were released as well. So we've got the ocean blue, and that's got the bright yellow looking S Pen. You've got the lavender purple that we have here. We have a midnight black, which strangely is not coming to the United States right now at first release. And we have a metallic copper. Now the only one that has a different color to the body of the phone is the ocean blue. For the rest of them though, you can see that the pen matches the body. So let's set this aside for a second and see what else is in this box. Now the thing I was a little bit upset to find out is that the HDMI cable, the one that allows us to use the DeX feature does not come in the box. That's something you're going to have to buy separately. So we've got the charging brick here for the adaptive fast charging. Now I'm not sure what type of Qualcomm quick charging that they're using right now. I'm going to put a little notation right here. And we've got a USB-C adapter here. And then finally, under here, we've got a pair of AKG tuned headphones, some replacement earbuds. We've got extra tips for the S Pen and the USB-C cable. So this is a very standard unboxing experience that we've seen with other Galaxy phones. There really isn't anything included extra. So how are they achieving this bigger battery in the Galaxy Note 9 here? Well, this is actually a bigger phone. I didn't expect it to feel this much bigger and heavier, but it does. Just looking at the width here, you can see that it's got a bit more width to it. And it is a bit thicker as well. Now with that added width to the phone, they've been able to add a 6.4 inch display. Really not all that different from the 6.3 inch display that we had on the Note 8. But yeah, this is a bigger phone. Now let's rip this off here. Oh uh, yeah, and let's get it started up. Now from what I understand, this is the Snapdragon 845 SoC inside of it. They didn't say which one it was, they just said that it is a cutting edge 10 nanometer processor. So here we get the Snapdragon and I'm sure abroad they get the Exynos. And Samsung says that this includes the Samsung developed water carbon cooling system. So we're going to have to see how this performs as a gaming device, but this is a phone that's pretty much exclusively getting Fortnite right now. So let me set this up. Okay, so let's quickly voice over the rest of my first impressions. I just set up the phone and I've played with it for a few minutes, so let's talk about some of the things that I've noticed. First, I definitely congratulate them on the new placement of the fingerprint sensor. It's faring much better. And I'm happy that it still retains the ability to use the gesture to pull down the notification shade. 
but I'm noticing that it's not all that responsive. It's kind of hard to get it to work. Maybe that has to do with the shape of the fingerprint sensor, but it looks very similar on the Galaxy S9 Plus, and I don't have any issue with that whatsoever. Next, I really do notice that extra width of the Note 9 in my hand. And I do admire that slimmer feeling of the Galaxy Note 8, so it's something I'm going to have to get used to. When holding them side by side, I can tell that the display is just a hair bigger, but otherwise I probably would not notice. I do notice that the extra width of the phone seems to bring more bezel, where I almost feel like I'm looking at a Google Pixel 2 XL. You'll have to let me know what you guys think about that. That's kind of what I see when I look at this phone. Maybe just boxier. It's not a bad thing, it's just interesting. Then looking under settings, the phone shows to be on Oreo still, with Samsung Experience 9.5 instead of the 9 on the Note 8. So I don't know when we're going to be getting Pi, but there you go, it is still on Oreo. Interface-wise, it looks just like the Galaxy S9s and the Note 8. I really don't see any differences. And when you remove the S Pen, I see the same exact features under Air Command as on the Note 8. So to my eye, I don't see any improvements or additions there yet, but I will keep searching. I think Samsung has probably gotten the experience how they want it and are unlikely to add anything else, but I was a little bit bummed. We can still double tap with the pen to bring up a quick note. But there are still no links to action like we had with Action Memo, so don't expect that to come back. But if you go underneath saved notes and just say you wrote down an email address or a phone number, if you hover your pen over those, those do have an action that you can execute. So it's kind of like we have link to action. It's just very, very simplified. And by the way, we had this on the Note 8 as well. So that's the same. Then looking under notes, I'm really not seeing any new added features, but I did find a little extra add-on feature called neat shapes. So now we can draw stars and circles and squares to our heart's content, and they look distinct, like we tried to draw those on purpose. I will keep looking for more features, but it looks very similar, and I don't really think there's anything else. Adding software features doesn't really seem to be the focus this time. The big thing, of course, is using the pen as a controller. So if you hold down the button on the S Pen, that's going to execute the camera. If you double click on the button, it's going to switch between the front and back cameras. Then if you click once, it's going to take a picture. That's really very handy. When poking around to see what apps work with this, there really aren't very many. There's only a handful. So I'm hoping that they're going to add more functionality and more apps in the future with this. To me, I can only see it being handy for photos so far, but I am positive that I'm going to use it. You guys will have to let me know if you will use this feature and what you would like to see added as a functionality with it. We've definitely got stereo speakers this time around, and we have the Dolby Atmos setting as well. And so far the speakers sound really great. I am very, very happy with this addition. No complaints there at all. And we still have a headphone jack, and thankfully it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. One thing I'm really not sure what to think about is the scene optimizer, where the note will automatically adjust the color settings of your pictures to match the subject matter. I was really not pleased with how Huawei used their AI to decide how your picture should look in various environments. So I foresee myself disabling this feature, but I'm going to give it a chance. I'm really curious to see how it does so this will be one of the first things I will check out. Then looking at the camera sensors on the Galaxy Note 9, they're the same as what we have on the Galaxy S9 Plus. So it looks like the camera specs and everything are exactly the same. We've got the main wide angle camera with the dual aperture and then the secondary telephoto camera. But as for improvements with processing, I will really be taking a close look at this very soon. I'm hoping Samsung has made some improvements over the Galaxy S9 because the Galaxy S9's had some issues with overexposure. So I will save all the camera features and improvements for another video, but I do see a few. It looks like we will better be able to use the live focus setting in low light, as it seems that the camera will take multiple shots and blend them together. And I'm sure this is for noise reduction. And I think that they're probably using a similar noise reduction method to what the Galaxy S9 Plus uses. So there are so many things to test here. So hang tight, I'm just scratching the surface with this. I know there's a lot of things I did not talk about, but I want to make a further in-depth video when I've had more time with this. So you guys, please ask me all the questions that you can think of so that I can have those in mind for the full review. Let me know what you guys think about the Galaxy Note 9. For me, I, I do think that it's 
kind of like a prime version of the Galaxy S9 Plus, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Should you upgrade over the S9 Plus? Eh, we will find out over the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned. This has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are notified of future videos, especially future videos about the Galaxy Note 9. So have a good night, you guys.